In this exercise, we're going to replace our bridge model, our temporary corridor that we modeled earlier, with a permanent bridge that was modeled by our structural team that's accurate uh, for the bridge that's going to be placed. So let's open up the corridor model that we had modeled earlier for our ramp. and Let's replace the bridge that's displayed in there. We can do this easy because we have been working in this federated file environment. So all we're going to do is we're going to turn off the display of our temporary bridge by going to the reference tools. So I'll go to the home tab, select my reference tools, find my bridge, and I'm just going to turn the display of it off so I no longer see it there. And I'm going to attach the file that we received from our bridge team. This is a bridge that was modeled in OpenBridge Modeler, uh, which is a structural modeling software from Bentley that also reads the same geometry and super elevation data that we're working in here. So we get an appropriate bridge model now, and you can see that down to the, the girders that are modeled in here, the piers, the uh, pier supports under it, the abutments but it also matches up to our roadway perfectly. So we've got a, now a very accurate bridge model that's been replaced and fits in very well with our road design model because we're sharing the same engineering data back and forth between Open Bridge Modeler and Open Roads Modeler. That concludes this exercise. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.